Okay, take in the, convene the, or reconvene the select board from our site visit. Um, with us tonight is Flo Smith, Tor Nelson, myself, Brad Town. Uh, also with us is Tim Davis, our road foreman. Uh, additions or changes to the agenda tour? Uh, no. Public comment? Hearing none. I'd like to also welcome our representative, our legislator. Um, let's see here. Uh, flood updates? Well, you saw the uh, holes in Pink Turnpike North um, caused by the flooding there at the culverts. Um, Tim, you want to get an update on the roads? We're getting there. We're, we're got everything roughed in. We're still having to clean a lot of ditches and stuff that were either washed in with gravel or to get the water back where it's supposed to be for winter time. And um, I'm hoping our graders been disabled right now for this week. We're waiting on pirates. Um, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping that uh, by the end of this week that will be fixed and whatnot, and then I'm going to put somebody in it for the duration from here on out. I'm hoping that we'll be able to at least get some of the stuff that's not flood damage graded and then we'll move on to cover and everything with gravel and starting to re-gravel the roads that were washed out that are all dense dense grade now and then um, we're gonna have to hire on some trucks to help haul unfortunately middle of September we're gonna go from a four-man crew to a three-man crew and have a guy going out for surgery so he's going to be out for, I believe, six to eight weeks right now. So, mm -hmm. just my biggest ask is for people to have patience with us. And I mean, we're working 10, 11, 12 hours a day trying to get things put together. And we're, we're having to bounce around a little bit right now, which is cutting into some time, trying just trying to get some of the other concerns that people have taking care of these little washes by people's driveways and so it makes everything a little bit safer so we're working on it thank you what do you what's your time frame what time you how far into the fall do you expect to be uh, still doing repair work I'm just thinking of uh, winter mm -hmm. coming up I'm hoping by the end of September we're going to be in real good shape. So, yeah. but I'm optimistic as long as I can get some trucks and we can haul some. Like that's going to be our biggest downfall. This is just hauling material once we get going to co covering all the roads again. Because you know, I mean, we lost all these roads that were washed out. We lost all our gravel. So. We covered, we lightly covered Mirror Lake Road the other day because it was getting to the point where it was a little rough to be driving on. And then there's nothing we can do as far as smoothing and that stuff up because it's three inch dense grade, so it's all three inch stone. So, I mean, it took us all day just to do Mirror Lake Road and just a little bit to start with, and then after the bridge up to the intersection. And, and it's only a couple inches thick just enough to level everything out mm -hmm. and whatnot, so. And we really should put a good six, eight inches of that stuff down and then cover it. I'm, I'm shooting for at least six inches of an inch and a half and then put a couple of inches of three quarter over the top of everything so we got some material to grade with. Any other questions for Tim? Uh, Rick Sunkhausen, any update on the mobile home removal process? 
program the state was looking at? Just trying to get everything organized as fast as we can and call the number. Get the uh, get the parts in place. It's it's a it's it's a process and we're working on it. We're trying to take care of people and it's not fast enough and and uh, people want to get on with their lives. But hopefully some good news will be coming. Okay. I don't want to sit here and and say anything like you know what was it two weeks ago three weeks ago here and have uh, have things not go as 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 planned. It's it's uh, the pieces have all got to come together to, and people have got to work together to make things happen. So um, that's all I got for right now. Unless you guys got something for me. Uh, Joe had talked to me about there was a he was approached by a, a group down in uh, Maryland or something, but they they're they're a volunteer organization and they would come up and dismantle mobile homes. But he didn't know if they would just dismantle them and leave them, dismantle them and take care of them. It was kind of vague, but. Uh, at least it was a, a, a volunteer group that was doing the work. So I think um, I was, just spoke to Joe about it on the phone, and uh, he'll have to fill fill us in on the uh, on what he knows on the next meeting. But I was just I asked him if there was if any other mobile homes parks got hit. Yeah, I believe Johnson, up in Johnson, it was hit pretty hard. Maybe Ludlow too. Yeah. It would make sense if they're coming up here, if they're bringing any kind of equipment with them, to have them be able to go around to all of them and see about it. I know the governor and the administration's working on stuff uh, that, you know, uh, the governor in, uh, in, uh, uh, with Irene, and I think it started down in Weston's, what was uh, Weston's at the time yeah. there and stuff, and implemented a plan and and I think he's trying, I don't want to speak for him, but I think that's trying to utilize that plan and try to recycle, get as much money as it can for that and and just try to have these these residents be able to move on with their lives and get as much as they can. I, I, um, I, uh, I know there's a lot of rumblings out there about, you know, people just want to give up their give up their homes with the park rent and all that stuff. I'm, I'm no, no, no lawyer, but I would, I, I would hope there's a better option than that. Um, they have to figure out what they want to do with that. But I, um, I know it's a hope that we, the state, will somehow or another figure out a plan that we will do with whatever we can to help mitigate that process. The dollars, in the sense, and of course, the, everything that's going into the land, land, or I assume it's going in the landfill. Let's just say as much recycling as possible. With them, so, mm -hmm. and hopefully, a lot of them can be, you know, maybe, maybe sold or something and, and rebuilt. I don't. It's still coming together, and unfortunately, it's very, very slow, and it's just the people's people's uh, attitudes, and I don't blame them. Anything else on the flood updates? There was a, um, a clip in the front page forum about items that are at the end of Muzzy Road, and Joe actually saw it and forwarded it to me and said that it was a good discussion for tonight around this, you know, basically just people that have things they need to discard, recycle, etc and wondering if the town of Berlin or the state is going to assist them with picking it up. We do have a request into the state for uh, some of the use of con same contractors to use from Montpelier and uh, Barry Great. to come by. I don't have the status of that. I was had a Mr. Conference call on that today, but I'll follow up uh, with the state um, on the same point. Stephen Young, the Department of Environmental Conservation, came out to Cedar Drive last week, and he personally um, removed a lot of the items from the refrigerators and freezers. Right. Um, just not a pretty task, but right. he took that on himself uh, to do, so very appreciative of him for that. That is very kind. 
Thank you. Anything else? That's it for me. Um, Payne Turnpike North road closure discussion. Well, I think we all saw the damage that was done there. Um, you know, the state has uh, viewed the situation along with the Federal Highway Administration engineers from both the organizations. Um, and they've you know, basically given us uh, either option. We can make temporary repairs on the road and get it back open or, you know, do the permanent repairs all at once. Um, I'm going to defer to Tim uh, for his decision or recommendation on that. So like we, we spoke earlier, um, my recommendation is, is to leave it closed for now. Um, the, the temporary repair is going to be better than half of an extent of what the temp the permanent fix is going to be. We're going to have to remove you know, hundreds of feet of asphalt, lower the grade back down to the culvert, check for voids underneath places, and then we're going to have to rebuild the road all the way back up and then do that. That's going to be very expensive just for a temporary fix. Um, like I also said, that I have a feeling that we'd probably stick a little higher on the radar with it being closed versus being open. I think we potentially being shuffled off for something major in other people's eyes, maybe. You know what I mean? So I don't know how you guys feel looking at it but I think our best options are going to be financially is just to let it sit for now we'll we'll do the not repairs but we'll do the work to protect the infrastructure that's through the road right there in the sewer and put some dirt over the top of it to prevent freezing for this winter and to help that problem Well, I mean, from the from the holes that were there under the roadbed, um, obviously water's getting into there somewhere and washing out the the base. Mm -hmm. The base is nothing but sand. sand, sand, and of course that doesn't hold water to save its soul. Um, my only concern, if we were to just do a if we were to do a temporary fix to it, that the cause of that sand getting washed away won't be noticed, and it'll just happen again. And will and it'll be probably worse next time around. But uh, I would take and uh, recommend we just uh, go for the go for the uh, the repair and uh, not the repair, but the the fix of it, so that we don't have to go through this in another year or two. And I concur. I think seeing it tonight, um, you can really see that it's worse than perhaps we envisioned until we were there tonight. And we don't know all the damages. There's more than likely way more damage than what we can see with our eyes mm -hmm. tonight. So I do I do agree with your recommendation. I will make that as a motion. And I'll second that. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Anything else? Anyone? I see you didn't put down round table. No. Uh, anything else? If I'd not. just like to say that um, in July, uh, wastewater pumped 7.4 million gallons of water. Uh, usually it's around three or four million gallons. So it was almost doubled because of the flooding. Yeah. It held up. Hold up. That's incredible. Um, you said that we, have we got a hold of anybody for Richardson Road as far as like the engineering process? You know, we've had there's some plans. Just what the final design. 
final design. Yeah, because Dave Wilcox had contacted me today just to kind of see where we were at and on like what kind of timeline we were looking into for usage of the temporary bridge and whatnot. So I, I hadn't heard much. I mean, I haven't been in here much. So I was just wondering, and he was inquiring. So I was just to kind of get him an answer if we were looking at a year or two or less than that or going into the wrong end of the construction season. But yeah, I, mean, I think we're much further ahead on Richardson Road as far as engineering goes, but uh, like you said, the uh, construction's all been bid out for the summer, so, you know, even if they can get us. Well, I mean, if we can get the, if the engineering is done in another couple of months, or the design engineering is done, then the just need to send it off to this I think the state have them approve it and uh, but I'm sure it's going to be this, probably going to be next summer by the time well we should I mean if we push it we sh we might be able to take and uh, get it out to bid for this uh, next year's construction season right yeah, so right. if we could get something maybe going for this fall and then get it in front of a couple of people and put some but numbers together and get on somebody's schedule you know I mean that's that's a good spring project because it's right on the blacktop, easy to get to. You know what I mean? The other, well, from my point of view, is that uh, if you can take and get the uh, get the engineering done, uh, you've got to get a hold of the concrete people that made the castings, have them get those made. I mean, they did a great job on uh, Fisher Road because they had them, they had them all uh, spotted down at the uh, I think it was Bellevue. They had them up the yard on track drill a bit. Just bottom up where they needed. So, yeah. Uh, I mean, the actual construction of the tube didn't take long. No. Mm -hmm. It's all the prep work. Yeah. So, well, anything else? That's all I have. Entertain a motion to adjourn? I make the motion to adjourn tonight's special board meeting. I second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. We're adjourned. <laughs>